Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. This computer. Oh, let's do this. You there? Yep. Can you hear me? You hear me? No, can't hear anything you're saying. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't hear anything you're saying. Oh, wait, there you go. Yeah, you hear me now? There you go. Hey, there. I always go. wanted to just check one, check two, check, check, check one, check two, check, check. Check, check, check. I like when they do that. Me I too. Do that. Me too. Well, you just did. You just did, baby. I like doing that. I'm going to do that again one time. Maybe sure. right now. Check one, check two, check, check, check. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take much to amuse, apparently. Uh, you know what? I tell that to the guys at work and they never believe me, and I think now they do. But I'm, uh, I'm a clown when you give me a microphone. It's fun to do, right? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, hey, you're like back it. in your room. Uh, I'm back in the sound studio. Same, same. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, better than the cubicle you were in the other day. Uh, yes, 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 yes. The little hollow cubicle. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, you know, you do what you do. We do what we got to do, but, uh, you know, it's nicer here. It's nicer here. Plus, I'm hoping that I'm not there at 11 o'clock at night. At the new yeah, I, yeah, that's, you know, if, if you, yeah, that's wrong. That would be terrible. Yeah, that would just yeah. be wrong on yeah. all, all sort of levels. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. what's going on, my friend? Um, gosh, so many things going on. Um, yeah, gee, so many things going on. Um, okay, so yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I trust you. I'm the same way. I'm just thinking. Okay, I hope he. I hope he talks pretty soon because rather I'm gonna fall asleep on him. Yeah. No. 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 So. So I just had to organize my my brain because. Uh, this week's so like it's already Thursday and it's just been Thank like, Christ. you know, it's been like a sprint, right? Like, so I, I'm, I've been at NIMI like a month and a half. So I just, uh, I just got my budget plan approved. Um, I am spending money, a lot of money. Um, and it, it actually, it isn't quite enough. Um, wow. but it's, it's a lot of money. Like it's, it's a lot of money. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of money and I don't think it's enough. Like I, I think I'm going to run out. Um, but we kind of agreed that we'll spend it and then, you know, like everything you get for it. about measurement. Right. So, exactly. um, you know, like I'm, d- I'm doing, you know, inbound stuff and, and we need to, you know, so I'm going to be measuring how many good leads I get and, uh, you know, do they convert into chances and, how much time are we spending, you know? And so all of that stuff kind of layers into like, great, you did what you thought you were going to do. Now let's go do more or, ugh, that's not working. Let's go do something else. Right. So. Well, at the end of the day, you know what they're going to want. They're going to want sales. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science, but I mean, as long as, you know, some stuff is coming in, they're going to be happy. Yeah. It shows it's working. Yeah. 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 But I think that's a big thing. Like I think, um, Sometimes companies, I mean, you know, like every company has different goals. Um, so you kind of need to be clear on, on what your goals are. But, um, you know, a lot of times marketing's job is to, you know, if you think of it like, a, you know, we all talk about funnels. Yeah. Marketing's job is to chuck things into the top of the funnel to make sure that you've got a salesperson at the bottom kind of holding out their hand going, did yeah. <laughs> Anything come out? Ideally, with the words are um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> that's what you're shooting uh, for. Not like, yeah. hey, is there anybody up there? Yeah, yeah. That's you know, not what we're looking for. You want, like, there's math to marketing, right? Like, a lot yeah. of people, you know, like a lot of small businesses approach it like, oh, you know, there's, um, you know, you kind of do it and people come and you, you do, but there is a math to it. Like, 
you, you have to pay attention to those things. Like you throw, if you can fill the funnel with like a hundred people at the top, you know, like 10% of those. So if you get 10 kind of qualified leads that come out at the bottom, you're probably doing pretty good. Oh man, you're uh, one for 10, I think. You know, so sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so anything. I mean, seriously, well, not yeah. in anything like in this world. Yeah. One for 10 is yeah. 10% yeah, I mean, is, you know, it's that's, great. That's not yeah. bad, man. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's kind of, you know, so you gotta, you gotta, do the math like marketing is as much about the art as it is about the science right yeah. or the arithmetic you know so yeah so this week has been um you know a couple of nights like kathy was like is everything okay and i i said yeah it is it's just it's a lot of money i'm spending and so like marketers you know I, i'm excited right because i, I want to spend yeah. it and, and i got all the stuff i want to do but the same time it's still a lot of money it's a lot of money that i'm you know the company is gonna is work trusting me with right so right you know, is it gonna work because yeah. that's what they're gonna look at yeah 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 yeah. well it's you all know, i'm gonna look at right well, like you spend the money but you know you might get someone come back and say you know buddy we could have gone to 15 trade shows mm, mm -hmm. you know well what did mm. this get me no so so that all falls under me too so so i have the advertising and promotion line that i have includes everything from <clears throat> like a content marketing plan to um, to like uh, email campaigns to email automation to um, webinars and trade shows um, partner programs like it's this huge bucket um, but it is kind of like a whole lot of like hey we could we could go do this and get like a hundred leads or we could go there and get a thousand leads but everything is about like if I get a thousand leads and I get 10% of that, are they any good? Right? Like if I only get one good lead out of it, then it sucks. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, so everything's like, you know, yeah, it is what shoot it is. your own adventure, you know, like qualify yeah. everything as you go, you know, so it's, uh, keep your so fingers crossed, you know, and, and yeah. work sometimes where it goes is where it goes. Right. Nothing's a guarantee. Yeah. No. Right. You just plug it away and yeah. you know, see what happens. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you do a lot of changing, right? Like I think well, a lot sure. of, a lot of people think, oh, big companies, like they know the plan. Like, yeah, we don't really know the plan. Like you never- companies, You know what big companies have is they have more people to, to tweak the plan. Yeah. And they have a little bit more money sometimes to make a few extra mistakes. Or, or to rationalize why the plan didn't work. <laughs> exactly. So, the, But at the end of the day, it's the same bullshit. Big company, small company. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Right? How you yeah, use absolutely. your budget is how your business, a thousand dollar budget for, for somebody might be like a ton of money. And for yep. a large company, you yep. know, a hundred thousand dollar budget is basically nothing. Yep. Yep. Agree. Agree. Am I blurry? You can see me. Okay. That could be just my eyes. I'm just tired. <laughs> I, I think it's my eyes and I think I'm blurry. You might be a little blurry. Is that better? No, now you're just, you're washed out. Oh no, there I am. It's, it's better than it was like, before. The lighting's not yeah. great. The lighting, is, yeah, it's a little, it's just a little, it's a bright right in your face. One sec, one sec. Well, it doesn't impact the sound. You know, this is a guy who's trying to fix a podcast by going to change the lighting. Like that, there's no sense to this, this young man. So he can listen to this when he comes back later. That's we'll better. stop talking now about him. So we'll let him go on his own little way. <laughs> hey, Phil. Hey. You can listen to that later. What I miss? <laughs> Nothing. Just having a little chit chat. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, what about you? What's going on with you? It's been one of those weeks too. Like I just yeah. been, I I just I it, it's everything coming at once, right? It's all good stuff, right? I mean, I saw our friend the other night. Which one? The oh one yeah, yeah. The one you called me for. <laughs> that they give me shit for. Don't phone me. It's like eleven o'clock. Oh, there, I said. Yeah. What? Who gives a shit? He's awake. I know he's yeah. not sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if I was sleeping, I wouldn't have picked up. It's like, you know, when the people yeah, say, like, I'm, don't get I'm your mom of, baked for you. you know, Why? Yeah. Your mom likes baking. Yeah. Who wants to talk marketing? Don't worry. Yeah. He's okay. They're killing themselves laughing. Actually, we hung up. I can't believe you did that. It's, ah, oh, just chill out. Yeah. It's I said, all, he's, look, he's all excited now. Let it, don't worry yeah, about it. It's all good. It's all good. <clears throat> That's one that has to be fixed up, though. So, like, yeah. even for listeners, like, you know, when you, when you start a marketing plan, and yeah, like, Phil and I really wanted to go down a different path with this vitamin company. Yeah. I do think it, the, the demographics skew older. Yeah. I think it's going to be very difficult to um, chase the market they want. Now, having said that, uh, before we called you, they both looked at me and they said, listen, this is really what we want to do. Here's the reasons why. We know that it's not 
our broader market, but what if we just focus on this and that's where the content's going to be? I said, listen, we can do that. And that's, that makes total sense. That's, that's a little different than what we were talking about before, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. before we wanted to sell all of the vitamins mm -hmm. and that subset is going to be really, really small. Yeah. But if we know the size is small, but we really want to hone in on it, sure, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they know. made the decision, and I'm totally good with it. I mean, yeah, it's not necessarily what I would have done. Yeah, because I just think it's 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 going to be a lot of effort for potentially little return, and I'm hoping that they prove that they prove me wrong. I'm Maybe. worried about it. Yeah, I'm I worried too, about it. But you know what, Phil? But, but there's really you know, nobody else in that space. No, no, there isn't. So, yeah, yeah. you know what? Yeah. And, the, and the boys went out into the stores, looked around. I think yeah. they talked to a few people. And you know what the reaction they got is, wow, really? That sounds really cool. So maybe, maybe there is, you know what? Maybe yeah. there's, there's a, there's a yeah. pent-up demand. Yep. Uh, again, it's not going to be massive. Yep. So what we're talking about is a prenatal line of vitamins, which yep. is actually pretty cool. It is it's, really cool. It's a little, yeah. it's a little too yeah. extensive in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. But that's, so what? Yeah. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the time is right. And maybe, I, you know, let's go. Let's try it. So, so set the stage a little. So we, um, Kenny and I have been working with this vitamin company um, who has an older demographic that um, is kind of the bread and butter of his business. And, and totally. so he, he came to us and said... <laughs> I've been pushing this prenatal um, vitamin, but it doesn't seem to be doing well. You know, could you, could you look at the plan and figure it out? Right. And so he came to Kenny and said, what should we do? And, and so Kenny uh, pulled me into it and then, and we started working on his stuff and uh, you know, we, uh, we built him a plan and, and we said, listen, we, what we think you should do is continue to shore up your older clientele and draw the, the investment that you get or the profit margin that you get, uh, the penny profits that you get out of those sales and then, then, and then invest it into prenatal vitamins as you go. But, but this, it's kind of a two, two step process, invest in the, um, you know, drive better volume out of your existing lineup and then invest in prenatals. Right. And, um, and what Kenny's talking about is, is the other night, um, you know, at, at, at like eight o'clock Vancouver time and 11 o'clock, um, you know, Toronto time, which is actually what time it is right now. Exactly. Like, um, oh. you know, you know, Kenny called me in the presence of, of the, the guy who owns the, the company. And then, and then, you know, Jimmy, who's, who's and national also, sales. you know, um, you know, national sales who, who, you know, the three of them were sitting around, you know, kind of, uh, kicking this around. And, and so they were giving him the gears about calling me because they felt it was too late. Little did they know that like, this is probably the prime time for Kenny and I. <laughs> exactly. And, you know? and the fact is little, yeah. is little do I care. Yeah. 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 So yeah, what? yeah, so yeah. You wake Phil up, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, wake yeah. Up. This yeah. is important. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then probably the biggest part of this is, um, you know, the two of them, so national <coughs> Nielsen and the owner went out and, and kind of looked around. So one of the things that they found, you know, that, that, requires flexibility in a plan is they went out and, and they realized that distribution that they had on the existing line that we thought was quite strong wasn't as strong as we thought it was. Exactly. Um, you and know, nobody and, knows you know. about this other line. Yeah. And then, and so then, you know, maybe they, they're right. they got a lot of feedback about this prenatal line that it wasn't, you know, that, that it might be a really cool idea. Just nobody seemed to know about it. So, so Kenny kind of called me and said, what do you think? Like, this is where we're, you know, I mean, Obviously, the owner who owns the brand gets to make all the calls on what he wants to do. But, but you know, he's kind of trusting us to help him. Because we're all friends and we're, we're, you know, we're all worried about him. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah. don't, you know, I don't want to lead him down the garden path. But, you know, Jim seemed, seemed excited about it. Aaron mm -hmm. was definitely excited about mm -hmm. it. The two of them would obviously talk. They were in the field. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. They found out information that you and I didn't have. Yep. Correct. Like, I thought there was some distribution. It doesn't sound like there's any. So quite frankly, if we're waiting for sales, it's going to be tough because yeah, it's not going to work. Else. Yeah, because yeah. it's not in store. So maybe yeah. you know what? Okay, maybe 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 they're right. Yeah, you know. Right? And, and I and, got a feeling now. I'm getting more as, as the week goes on. I'm thinking, yeah, you know what? Let's let's try it. I mean, we don't have to. We don't have to allocate a billion dollars to it. No. Nope. But yeah. let's put some effort to it and let's see yeah. what we can do. I'd like let's to even reach out to some baby uh, yeah. bloggers. I might do that tonight on Facebook. Yeah. Send that little one find. page PDF yeah. and say, listen, this is a brand new line. Yeah. Would you be interested in taking a look at it? 
Yeah. What What's the worst case scenario? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So, you know, and that's yeah. why I'm glad they kind of went out. See, that's what sometimes what happens is like I hadn't gone out and really looked around. I, I'd not seen anything like it. So my assumption is, listen, there's a reason for that. There's no need. Yeah. And there still may no be no, no need. We don't yeah. know. Yeah. Because we, you know, I mean, um, it's the danger of going out and doing field research is, is you can talk to some people, you Absolutely. may or may not get the right target, you know. Well, it depends how you ask the know. question. Yeah. 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 I, you know, I can yeah. lead to an answer. Yeah. Right. You know, as well as I do. And that's marketers why marketers are kind of notorious, notorious for that. Exactly. Yeah, I can get the answer I want. So, <laughs> well, you know what? And, and if you're a marketer who's pig headed, yeah. Like yeah. maybe two people on online tonight yeah, is that yeah, basically, uh, you know what? I, you know, like, yeah, I know the answer I want. And you know yeah. what? If you don't give it to I'm me, gonna get it. I might be wrong. Yeah. So, I'm going to get it. I'm yeah, going to get it. Me, or you're not a good audience. <laughs> Let me, let me help you with what you're supposed to answer yeah. to the question I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's true. So anyway, no, I mean. Though. I like that because I, I, yeah. I left that and I thought, ah, you know what? I think the two of them probably have something here. And worst case, it is definitively going to be no worse a result than what we were going to do because we weren't going to do much with it at this point. Correct. So we put some yeah. effort into it. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. Let, let's see. Maybe, I, I don't know. And the more I thought about it all week, I, ah, I think there might be some play in this. Yeah. I, you know what, yeah. Phil, there's no distribution. No, no. I, I, and nobody has talked about it. And yeah. when, they find, when they do hear about it, there's, you know, like, oh, that's different. And I think, oh, yeah. well, shit, maybe we just needed to get yeah. some basic. No, no, I'm, I'm fine with it. Honestly, I, I think, um, you know, like this is when you trust partners, right? So you, Absolutely. So you look at it and you go, look, the owner, he knows his business. Um, and then you've got Jimmy out there. Well, Jim, who I really totally trust on business. it too. Absolutely. So if they went out and did the work, right? Like we're, we're one step farther in terms of like data that we didn't have before. Exactly. And so what's the very worst that can happen is, we, you know, we're going to be right where we were before is it, it didn't deal. go anywhere. Right. So big tried. deal, you know, at least we tried something. Right. So, um, you know, so I'm, I'm all there. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. So, but, but, you know, like, I think that's the thing for, for people who are listening to us. If you run your own business, these things happen, right? And and when these things happen and you're alone in your basement by yourself, you think, God, what the hell's going on, right? But the truth is every business makes adjustments. You you always test and learn and then, you know, you readjust your plans, right? Like well, come on, just because it's in a PowerPoint doesn't mean you got to go that way. Absolutely. Right? And if you think yeah. about, you know, you, you know, you have two of us who've been in retail or marketing for well over 25 years each, pretty confident, you know, and I think relatively bright who make a decision, decide to go down a path yeah. that, that can, another person comes in with the equivalent amount of experience mm -hmm. and a different angle. Mm -hmm. And the two of us think, oh shit, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. So like if you're sitting in your basement alone, and this is what we keep saying, yeah. you can't run a business on your own. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's yours. You have to, it's yeah. your baby, but reach out. Yeah. You, Reach you gotta out. Find, you got to find a sounding board. Absolutely. Really, yeah. And that's what, sort of what happened with this one. You know, and the, and the, the more yeah. you listen, you're thinking, okay, you know what, guys, you're, you're not, it's not. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a stretch. And I really yeah. do. But yeah. at the same time, like, I'm actually kind of excited. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, if anything, like, like now I want to make sure, like, I would love to be proven wrong on this one. Like, let's do it. Yeah. Because yeah, at yeah. worst case, I don't think it's going to be any worse than what we would have done anyway. Nope. But I actually think on this one, we're going to, we're going to, I think we might actually shock ourselves. I really do feel, and I'll tell you why, because I'm there is no. i optimistic. Well, I'll tell you why I'm, I'm a little more than that. I think the fact that there's nobody that has it, which means the reps haven't done their job. Right. We haven't done our job. Yeah. When you tell people that it's available, it's not that, oh my God, that is the stupidest thing I ever heard. Because nobody's obligated to say anything positive. Mm -hmm. so there's no obligation, mm -hmm. right? You know, people in the stores or buyers in general. Yep. If we don't like something, I don't give a shit. I'll just, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll the just stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So when people aren't doing it, you're thinking, wow, maybe it's really and truly it's just basic, basic awareness that's the problem. Like they just don't know this thing exists. Yeah. The, I, it's not I that I, I, I'm fine with it. It's, it's not, it's, it's not the, it's the, brand, it's the brand on top of it. Yeah, because the brand has some issues, right? That that we don't really. It skews old, and it's exactly. We no, it's not that. It's the messaging. Like I, I don't think there's really good messaging around it. We haven't really thought about it yet. We haven't done that work yet, and then yeah. and then I worry because I, I. 
you know, now you're, cause you're, now you're doing a lot of things, right? Like we're, we're pushing distribution and we're trying to, to market something that isn't yep. really available in market. So those things I'm excited. I'm equally as, I'm as excited about the brand today as I was, you know, when we started talking to Aaron, it seems like a long time ago, right? Absolutely. But, um, so I am excited about the brand. Yes, I'm it. just worried about how many moving pieces there are. Um, do you know? Like, yeah. And I think that's yeah. why we basically, I think that's why, and I think this is where Jim was good at this one is that I think the focus is let's just focus on this right now. Mm-hmm. The messaging on the, on the umbrella isn't going to get any worse. Mm-hmm. Isn't going to get any better. No. So what it is yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Which, which isn't good, which isn't a good decision necessarily, but you know what, let's, let's take one angle and one yeah. aspect and let's, let's focus on it. Look at he's, right? he's a, and I'm good he's with that small business, because again, right? the, maybe the people we're talking to don't, don't even know the umbrella. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And you, and you just exactly. can't, right? Like you can't, you can't do, you can't do everything. You've, you've got to, you know, exactly what we're doing is you've got to pick pieces and go and then iterate as you move. Right. So yeah. I think the neat thing there is, you but know, I'd love people. That, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. If you no, go, no, don't go, go, go. No, no. I was just going to say, I, I think the one thing that's really cool is if you think about um, like keeping people in, coordinated um, yeah. is, you know, you've got like, You've, you've got this owner who's kind of doing the business. He works with Kenny. You know, you've got Jimmy who does national sales and then, and then calling me no matter what time of night. Yeah. And just kind of like tying people from all over geographically all over the place, like to keep everybody kind of lockstep. Um, and so like, these guys didn't wait till they're like, Hey, we've, we've got a fully thought out plan. Kenny literally called and said, we're going to go this way. What do you think? Right. And it, it allowed us as a team to be able to think through some pieces together and then kind of, you know, like hypothesize what it might look like. And then, you know, we all kind of went, okay, got it. So we're like, we all have pieces that we got to run away and do stuff. Right. Like, I think that's the other part about um, when you own your own business, if you have contractors or whatever, getting them involved early during your thought stages is a lot easier than you showing up and going, I thought about it. I'm going to go this way. Let's go. Right, because yeah, and, and we sit yeah. back and say, mm, "Did you really what? think of that?" <laughs> yeah, because right? you're That's not part you of the thought hear. process. Well, right? exactly, and I don't know where you're at. Yeah, you know, and again, and even on this one, in some ways, because we came in post production, like it wasn't post, um, you know, um, drawings. This is bottled, packaged, shipped. Yeah, it's out there. Where else? Like yeah. it's, it, and we're both looking to say, "Well, this maybe isn't the greatest thing to do right now." Yeah. You know, and in fairness, well, that's great, but it's already done. Yeah. So, so what do we do or not? Yeah. Let's just let's just get going. Yeah. But if there's yeah. any, you know, if there's listeners of the of small size, this is when you do go grab a Phil, a, a me, a Jimmy, a somebody, mm-hmm. a Linda, and say, listen, this is where I'm at. Would you give me an hour? I just want to run some stuff by yep. you. What do you think? Yeah. Right, not rocket science. But yeah, important. really. Yeah, it's yeah. moving, and I do yeah. want people to know: grab a mentor, grab a yeah, friend, absolutely, grab an expert. 100%. Don't do it on your yeah. own. Don't sit in the basement yeah, yeah. freaking out and having a heart attack. Not worth yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Remember, this is only yeah. Business. Send us a note. We got nothing else to do. Yeah, you can call call yeah. Phil anytime call after me. eleven anytime. o'clock yeah. Eastern. No issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know about after midnight because if you wake up Kathy, that could be a real problem, and I'm not going to no, be the one responsible Kathy's for that. Not, Kathy's not waking up. But eleven o'clock, no problem. Yeah, yeah. It Phone was... away, <laughs> Jimmy. Listen to us. No big deal. You can call him. I did that to Jimmy. Uh, what night? Tuesday night. Yeah. So I'm listening to the CBD podcast, which I found fascinating. It was good, right? Okay, so I get through yeah. it, and of course, you know, he repeats things thirty times to make it clear, so people won't yeah. have any yeah. questions. So what do I do? I pick up the phone. I say, listen. Explain this to me one more time because yeah. I don't understand. It's stupid. <laughs> da, 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 da. He goes, I want to go to bed. So I realize that I don't really care. Listen, yeah, yeah. this is my story. Yeah, so yeah. I him and then I thank him. <laughs> but yeah, that's hilarious. I'm trying to understand it, right? I'm trying yeah. to, you know, because it was a good podcast, and, but it still wasn't. You know what it is? It's clear, but it's not Jim that's not cl- unclear. It's the government that's unclear. Yeah, totally. I totally. don't understand still. So you can sell the CBD oils and all the stuff in the hemp shop. Yeah. You can get a prescription for the CBD through the doctor thingy. 
yeah. have it shipped to you via the LP. But you can't yeah. buy it in a natural health store. Uh-uh. So in a dope shop, where I guess Jimmy Stonerhead must know way more than any yeah. pharmacist or any yeah. natural health guy. Yeah, 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 That's the guy we should go to save yeah. our lives. Yeah. So, so Kenny's talking about, so last week we talked a little bit about all this cannabis stuff and everything. And um, like shortly after that, um, you know, both of us listened to Shoplin Health podcast. So if you haven't listened to that, these guys are in the natural health space. They are great. Um, Lori's better than Jimmy, but totally Jimmy's better than Jimmy. Like Jimmy. totally better. Way um, better. <laughs> Way better. <laughs> and Jimmy did this really great episode on CBD. Um, so he kind of went through. Lori contributed thing. immensely. I kept Jimmy and, in line. Uh, yeah, kept Jimmy in line. And and so Kenny called and harassed Jimmy some more. Um, but I under, I understand. Yeah, I mean the 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 weird part is the you know, the pot shops and things like that. Right. Cause I actually understand like the scheduling stuff is really straightforward. Like you got to keep it behind the counter. You need a prescription. So what? No that makes deal. sense to me. Right. Like, you know, eventually someone will make the case. Maybe it's got to come out front. Um, it would be a schedule three and lock and leave, you know, so if I was to explain it to you, I understand all that, but the pot shop thing is really weird where we're in this gray zone of like, yeah, a pharmacist can't sell it, but, you know, Jimmy Stonerhead can, so that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, so. and Jimmy Stonerhead yeah. is selling you stuff that we don't know where it comes from. No, no. Yeah. We don't know the standardization. No. It's not allowed to make any claims. There's no panel. There's so no any of the thing. claims that are going to be made are by Jimmy yeah. Stonerhead, who's probably yeah. a nice kid. And maybe very bright. Man. I don't know. Exactly. It's great. I take it every morning, man. Uh, okay, buddy, you're 12 years old. Yeah. I mean, how much problems are you going to have? Yeah. Right? Or it's the other part. And, you know, this is where I, I, Jim and I've had, I said, you know, I'm pretty sure there's enough clinical data that shows that smoking anything probably causes cancer. It's probably carcinogenic. I'm going to say pretty, pretty, we're pretty clear on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay though. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Cause yeah. cancer ain't that big a deal. Yeah. Apparently yeah. to the Canadian government, right? Taking a CBD oil, as long as you don't make a claim, no problem. Yeah. Standard is I don't sweat it. Weird. Go to the pot shop. You can take an oil, no issues. But if someone came out with a really great CBD product, oh my God, we can't, can't do that because we don't have studies. Yeah, yeah. We can't substantiate the claims yeah. and we can't put it in the right channels. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't get it. No, I don't. So know. I'm allowed to get cancer and I can take shit that I have no idea what it yeah. is yeah. in a pot shop. Yeah. But I can't go to a natural health store or a pharmacy yeah. Yeah. and potentially have a professional say, listen, this is what it is. Here's a standardization. These are, you know, I, I just don't get it. Yeah. No, I, I, I hear you. I totally hear you. It's just, it's very frustrating. Weird. Yeah. It's very weird. It's very weird. No, I'm, it's government, I guess. That's, anyway, yeah. that's my rant for tonight. <laughs> so I've been ranting about CBD for months because that's so stupid. It is cannabis. Cannabis is. It's such a cool, it's a cool commodity. It's got so much potential. And we just don't know what the hell we're we doing. We bungled it. We bungled it like we do everything. Well, we went for votes. Yeah, yeah, we did. That's all that was. We, we just went for votes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. You had a lot of young people. That's who wanted it. Right? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, it's, and that's what he'll get. He'll get all his, I guess, get all his young. You know, he might get a young vote out. He may not get any votes out. He might get some. I think he might have lost the indigenous uh, vote. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Okay, we'll digress into politics for a minute. He yeah. sounds like his old man, eh? He does, yeah. That is something the old man yeah. would have said. Yeah. I like, mean, I, I, I was, mean, I was pissing myself when I heard I'm that. Not I'm like, old your dad. I know what his old man said, but yeah, you're right. No, I'm just joking. That, honestly, <laughs> that's the old man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I, when I heard him say that, I thought, oh my God, you're your father. Yeah, dude. Your father would have got away with it. Yeah. Yeah. But oh my God, you're your dad. That was a classic one-liner. I don't know if it. I don't know if his dad would have gotten away with it. I think he would have given a shit away with it. Yeah, and he also because the media coverage wouldn't have been as good. Like the, you know what I mean? Like it's he harder. It I think it's you harder think the old man would have given a shit? So. Yeah, I, I actually think he would have. I think he would have because I think convinced of that. Yeah, I think he I was know. just what he was. Yeah, he was, you know what? He was probably one of our one of our most fun. Yeah, definitely. Good, bad, and different. That's whatever Paul. Yeah. Paul, you know. yeah. But you know what? He was a hoot. <laughs> there was always something. He definitely on. was. Yeah. There was always something going on. Right. Anyway, I was just yeah. it just made me laugh today with uh, with our That's, with our young friend. Yeah. 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 But yeah. anywho, 
Yeah, yeah, I don't know, buddy. It's just been a busy, busy week. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Last what... couple of days, enjoying that. Yeah, Good yeah. Group. So, do you have the? Because you were looking for a couple more customers, right? Are you are you kind of like full plate now? Or are you? I'm going to be full plate around for a little or? bit. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll start looking and go because I just don't have the attention span not to look. I'll forget that I'm not supposed to look. <laughs> you know, I'll go a little ADD on myself, and then I'll forget what I was supposed to be doing, and yeah. I'm not supposed to look. And then I'll think, oh, geez, I think I should find somebody. You're hilarious. Yeah, I'm, I'm consistent. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I love it. I love it. Yeah, well, love it or not, that's yeah. what you get. I was thinking that next year for Global Pet, <clears throat> we gotta figure out how to do a joint session. Some yeah. of the you and I can do together. We can um, do that. Because I think, I think one of the things that you could help with that I don't, I wouldn't help as well with is this whole owner operator idea, right? Because pet stores are, pet yeah. stores are Our owner operators. right up. Yeah. You, they're right up your alley yeah. of like, look, I've, I've got to mix it all up. And then I tend to do more strategic marketing stuff, which they really love, but it makes them a little crazy too. Um, you know what I mean? Like, cause it's more pure marketing stuff and you, you would yeah, be where I would basically say, that's great Joe marketer. Now, yeah. how do you want us to really do this? Yeah. Yeah. When you want yeah. What do we do? Me to do speak. Yeah. Closing the till down, locking the door, yeah. setting the alarm. Like what, what yeah. do you want me to do? Yeah. Yeah. So you I think some time be, of day that I'm, you want me to do all this shit or. So we got to figure that out. Cause I think, I think that might be a fun one. We do. have to prepare the way. Ah, no. I I mean, um, Marcy, if you're you know what we could do, we could actually do the yeah. we could actually do the podcast there. I think we should totally do the podcast there. Like I, I think yeah, I would talk to the podcast while we're doing uh, it. Um, the academic coordinator and just say, hey, like, can we get a table? Can we do the podcast while we're there? And then, and then I think we should do a session together somehow. Yeah, I would love um, to do that. I think we have, yeah. I think that would be fun. Yeah, I think it'd be really I mean, cool. I think- I think there's a lot of cool stuff in that industry. Yeah. And if anything, you know what? I mean, uh, and a lot of those, those guys seem to, the problem is with pet, pet is going through now what natural health went through 20, 25 years ago mm-hmm. when all the big guys started coming in. Mm-hmm. And if you were a natural health shop, natural grocer, like you just thought the world is over. Yeah. Right. Walmart, yeah. RCSS, yeah. we're dead. Yeah. Then when the drug stores started picking it up, oh my God, now we're yeah. for sure dead. And yeah. these little pet guys are in the same, you know, they're worried about, you know, there's four or five massive companies in the States, yeah. and most of Canada as well. Yeah. And yeah. quite frankly, you know what? A lot of true pet people, not commodity pet people, will yeah. not shop in those shitholes. Yeah, it's true. They want to shop with the little guy yeah. who walks, walks them through their purchase. Yeah. This is why I'm going to recommend this dog food to you. Here's the cat yeah. food. This yeah. is why this toy is better than that toy. You're not, you don't get that in mass. You don't. Mass yeah. retail, like our mass, like our traditional grocery drug, yeah. you don't get that in pet mass either. No. You just don't. Well, I mean, they like it. They like it when, you know, usually when uh, PetSmart <clears throat> opens up in their neighborhood, they all say the same thing, right? It's like when they open up, my, my sales go up because people go in there and go, ugh. Like, well, they'll buy the commodity, yeah. commodity, right? Yeah, and, and then, then that's fine. Then they're going, and then they're going to the boutique for for all the right exactly. stuff. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you might lose some sales, but you typically hang on to all the nice, profitable ones. Yep. The sales you lose are the um, the low margin type sales because you can't yeah. compete in that game anyway. Yeah. 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 yeah I would yeah. like to do that. I think that'd be a who. Yeah, I think. I mean, it's sort of the world that we're in right now. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, right. so we'll we'll figure like it. it out. I uh, I will check when submissions go in, and then sure. uh, we'll put something together, and then and then figure it out. And then yeah, let's do it. We'll put something let's together, put it in, forget about it, and then next February we'll panic about it and get it done. So nah, no procrastinators anyway. So yeah. whatever, we'll wing it. Nobody <laughs> listens to us now. Nobody's gonna listen to us there. It's all the same thing. <laughs> <That's funny. clears throat> No big deal. Yeah. They'll all be sitting there in the audience. We'll have this big audience that'll all be on their cell phones. Nobody's yeah. paying attention to what the hell we're No, anyway. no, no. These guys, Don't these guys are good. It. They, uh, they, they actually pay attention. They're, they're oh, did I lose you again? Pretty attentive audience. So, yeah. I think I lost you. I'm here. Or you're hearing me, and I'm just. I hear you, Kenny. Come on back. They're engaged. 
Ooh, breaking up now. That there you are. Oh. Kenny. Kenny. Uh oh. Are you there? Oh. Yeah, I lost you there. No, like it actually dropped, dropped. Oh, that was weird. Uh, hang on. Let me make sure. Yeah, I'm still recording. We're good. Okay, yeah, that drop, drop. So you may have to go uh, through and weird. edit out that dead air. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. I think people are yeah. used to it by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I, I think we should do that. And then, yeah. uh, you know, we'll figure out, figure out what else there is that we All should All over do. it, baby. All over yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. All over it. Um, Super Zoo is coming up, too. That would be fun in Vegas. Super Zoo is in July. Uh, I don't know. They move it around. Like sometimes it's in July, sometimes it's in August. It's typically kind of the worst well. time of year to be in Vegas. Yeah, we're yeah. still 175 degrees at two yeah. o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I do like yeah. Super Zoo though. I mean, I, I yeah, do. Yeah, that's a pretty um, cool show. It is a pretty cool sure. show. Yeah, and actually, yeah. I'm thinking, potentially, still thinking of going to Shanghai, maybe. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because I think I just booked New York around that. Me and me, they're going to take the kids to New York. Oh, cool. Very cool. I don't know. That'll be fun. Nah, I don't know. What are you, you talking about? New York's always fun. These kids are expensive. Oh, okay? kids are expensive. They screw up all the holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they yeah. just add so many costs to these holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I start holidays, like I told you, always the same. Just me and the wife. Yeah. Then I got all these things. Oh, we can do a nice dinner. Da, 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 da. Then the kids get in. Okay, there goes the dinners. Then we've got to pay for more accommodation. There goes the shows. I yeah, know. You know, I mean, Hamilton's going to be playing in New York, so you're going to have to go see Hamilton. I, I want to go see, the, what's the, you know, the one, uh, the one about the gander? Come, come, oh, come far, far away. From come, come far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, I think it just closed in Toronto. So, come by, come by far. Uh, come by yeah, far, they extended far, it like far, a million by, times. I can't remember like, the Newfoundland one anyway, whatever yeah, the hell yeah, it yeah. is. Far and away. Or or yeah, yeah. You got to see Hamilton though. Hamilton's the hot thing, right? Come by yeah. far. Far by, come by. <sighs> anyway, someone look it up and just let us know what the hell it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man, if oh, man. you've seen it, it's so good. Like, if you watch the TV, it's a, a movie or a TV show, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's endearing. I mean, honestly endearing. Okay, the yeah. Shanghai show is... Oh, no, it's not. August, August 21 to 25. Okay. Oh. Huh. We went last year to the, it was in, uh, in Guangzhou at the Canton and it was, yeah. it was good. Yeah. It was good. Huh. I mean, it's, it's a long way to go for a day show. Yeah. Right. Because you got, when you're going there, I mean, at the end of the day, cause we've done pet shows, we know what we're looking for. Yeah. <clears throat> the problem is it's, it's, so there's so much stuff you just, you're not going to do. You're not going to yeah, do yeah. food from China here. Yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. bring it from here or there maybe, yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. definitely not going that. Yeah. Um, you're definitely not going is, the other way. But that is that show, that show is not just pet though, right? Like that's a full show. No, right? that one is just the pet show. Oh, really? It's, it's, held, just at, it's held at the, it's held at the, uh, um, the Canton fairgrounds. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And super zoo, super zoo is August 20 to 22. Okay. Isn't that funny? It's the same time. Same time. So you can't do if you're if you're in the industry, you're doing one or the other. You're not yeah, doing yeah. either. You're not doing two. Anyway, there's that one, would be interesting. There's one too. in Europe too, eh? There's one. Uh, there is, and I can't remember what it's called. Interzoo. That sounds right, and I think I it's, it's in Cologne. Yeah, something like that. Some are cool. That's I think it's Cologne cool. because I think Cologne yeah. usually gets these shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like Hanover in Germany, right? Um, totally. Yeah. Cologne gets all the yeah. I mean, they get yeah. Sea Isle or or not not Sea Isle. I guess when it's there, it's Anuga. Yeah. Or yeah. whatever the hell it is, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we can talk about that. Yeah. That may be kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, that, that would be kind of cool. cool. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Very cool. It's all good, buddy. Very cool. Okay, yeah. go to bed. All right, that's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. Like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.